If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have Wild Card Wednesday. Today's drop, of course, as you can see by the screen, is flashbacks. Now, again, this used to be a very boring day in past Madden's. Oh, as of recently, at least. But lately, these flashbacks have been rep like. Reputable overalls, right? Like, not bad, as well as some good stats and some usable cards, especially on theme teams, right? Because I hate when they used to brand cards as theme team cards, but they were ass. Like, they would give us an 88 Trubisky flashback when we have 95 in the game, say theme team, but even a theme team could usually find a better than 88 overall player at that position, or it just isn't even usable. Even if, if that's your best player in a theme team, you can get a quarterback. It's like, all right, well, maybe I should be using this theme team. But, like, if this was a theme team, this card's actually really good. I mean, he's not bad. He gets thresholds, which is what's really important here. So, Trubisky, the important thing to note here is that he does get all above 90 stats on the front of the card here if he's powered up, which means he will be a, pr a great short, medium, and deep throwing guy. He can throw under pressure. He can throw on the run. And he gets 86 speed, which powered up on a theme team gets, like, above 90 maybe or 89-ish. So that's really, really good. I mean, he's going to be a pretty elite speed type quarterback, or at least close to elite speed type quarterback. And I believe he gets escape artist. He probably doesn't get anything else ability wise. But again, when you're talking theme teams, you're not going to be getting guys that can get every single ability on the field. So it's it's understandable for the most part. Uh, Mitch Trubisky, not bad. 93 overall powered up on a theme team could probably get him to like a 94 ish. So that's not bad. You know, he gets he gets Bears and Bills theme team, mind you, although I don't think anyone's using a Bills theme team with Trubisky as a quarterback when you have Josh Allen. So that, that, that is what it is there. Next, we have Eric Kendricks, middle linebacker for the Vikings. Now, what's impressive about this card is he gets an 89 speed. Now, I don't think this is a good card, but Eric Kendricks in the past typically can get a 95 overall with like an 86 speed. So, the fact that he's a lower overall, such as a 92, and still getting a 90 speed powered up isn't horrible. He will get 93 Excel, 90 speed in the theme team again, 92 speed. He gets above 90 tackle, above 90 play rack. The block shed does fall short, and the hit power and the zone, which is why I think this card's ultimately trash. It's really tough to justify a card that can't get the uh, middle linebacker, especially when like there's really no reason to run middle linebackers unless you're looking purely at block shit, hit power zone kind of a thing. And he's not going to get the block shit, so he's not going to be great in the run game. He's not the fastest. Like he's fast for his card, but he's not like the fastest linebacker you can get. And he doesn't get the zone or hit power above 90. So Eric Hendricks, not my personal preference. I believe he's always played for the Vikings, I think. So I don't think he's going to get many theme teams here either. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was drafted there. I could, again, I could be wrong, but I think so. Philip Lindsay. Now, this guy as well gets two theme teams. He gets Texans and Broncos. I like to mention that because it's a big theme team year, so definitely important for a Texans theme team. One of the better backs, I think, for a Texans roster. You know, younger teams, not like a ton of legends that are going to be there. Unless you get Arian Foster. But for the Broncos, not a bad back speed-wise. Like, if you're doing a budgety Bronco type build, like, I don't think Javante Williams or Melvin Gordon has a better card than this. Uh, he gets 92 speed here, which on a theme team, again, he can get up to a 95 speed at back, which is really good. Gets above, he'll get like a 93 Excel up to 95 Excel. He gets a 92 agility, 93 carrying. He's catching to 76, change of direction above 90. Trucking is still rep, like, you know, still respectable at 82. And his break tackle will be an 89. Really good elusive back. And honestly, a underrated-esque power back. That's not horrible either. Then we got Jason Verrett. Now, this is actually a really good card. 93 speed Jason Verrett for the Chargers. I believe he also gets 49ers, Cam. Not a bad And again, 49ers team team. With Dion, Verrett, and a few other guys you could probably put there, you know. Not bad. They eventually get Lot. They get, a, they get a bunch of guys on the defensive side of the ball now. Here's the beauty of this card. He gets a 94 speed powered up, 96 on the theme team. So 96 speed's crazy with 95 to 96 Excel as well. 92 agility, 91 jumping, 92 play rec, 92 man, 94 zone, 88 press. Now, if you have the lockdown like coverage card with a double press, you can get him up all 90 coverage as well as 94 speed at least off a theme team, 96 speed on a theme team. So this card actually has a lot of promise. And then guys, we have Janoris Jenkins, which was revealed yesterday. Um, Janoris Jenkins has Giants and Rams cam. I forget if he's played anywhere else. He probably has at some point while being a little journeyman at the end there. But the beauty of this card, again, he gets 93 speed. He gets above 90 zone, press, and man with, you know, decent agility, excel, and everything else. And, of course, he gets, you know, two theme teams on a Giants theme team would be pretty good, as well as the Rams here. So that's not a bad card at all. And then, guys, there's going to be the guys you could have taken for weeks 9 through 12 on the Wild Card Wednesday if you go in and complete it. Now, some guys that are notable here for you to really probably want to take. I mean, obviously, I would stay towards the higher end of the spectrum, such as 92s, usually. But in this case, it doesn't. It seems like some of the 91s are actually better than, like, let's say, Cole Beasley or Al Woods. In my personal opinion, 
the bottom row is probably the best right greedy williams is very good with a good frame like very, he's a very good choice Kadarius tony's a very good choice you want to like a budgety slot receiver joe burrow isn't even a horrible choice although i wouldn't recommend quarterback i prefer the corner and the wide receiver in terms of depth adafi oh well people are going to say he's very similar to the um the, the, the phillips card or the jordan phillips whatever it was I forget his name that we did get for the um the gridiron forge but you could use both put one on each side right oh, oh always good Burrow's good, Tony's good, Greedy's good. If you're looking at the the was it veterans or heavyweights. No, that's veterans. Cole Beasley wasn't bad. Matt Prater, if you have if you have a God Squad, Matt Prater's not a horrible kicking option. Heavyweight wise, I really wouldn't go anyone there unless you really need a lineman. And then in terms of flashbacks, Deshaun Jackson has some speed, but I, I really would stick towards the rising stars and then like maybe one or two of the veterans. And then guys, this is important. So I want to make this clear here. So a lot of people are asking, if I missed the first MCS event, and I didn't get Tyree Kill, is it still possible to get Tyree Kill as well as get the 97? Because remember, you do get a free 97 overall if you do complete all of the MCS player collections and you can put them all in for the free 97 that's picked through one of the MCS players teams, right? People are saying, so here's the thing. You typically get, you get up to two MCS drop packs, which is pretty much two uh, tokens, right? You get two tokens if you earn all the hours for an MCS event. Sorry per night you get two tokens per night and there's gonna be two mcs events per event timing right so that means for each event which is supposed to, there's four you get a grand total of four tokens so the first event you got four now let's say let's just assume you missed the first the first one right if you do today or you do the one coming up which is the second one you will get a total of four tokens make sure you get all four and this is going to be important because randy moss only costs three i believe so that means that you can collect a free extra one but don't use it towards any of the bs stuff like the the, the twitch packs the gridiron packs save it then in the third event you're going to get the player again if you get all four you will now have an extra token again at the end that'll be two tokens and with the final fourth and final event you can use the final three on the player and still remain with an extra token so if you use the last three and you keep all three extra tokens you can then take those and bring them back to tyree kill if the set's still around and get that which would mean that pretty much on the fourth and final event if you collect all the remaining tokens available to you you will get tyree kill randy moss all four players so you can still get the 97 overall while missing the first event now there's also a chance that they also do like a a review thing where you can go back and maybe even get some extra tokens worst case scenario if they do something at the end or you could play a solo which they have done in the past for like an extra mcs or two token so just keep that in mind so if you guys miss tyree kill it doesn't mean it's over still collect randy moss regardless but make sure you do go ahead and collect all four now i believe to collect all four you need like three total hours or four total hours of watch time i think it was like three so pretty much the each event goes like two hours ish so if you watch all of it, you get four so this is what i recommend doing some people will only watch like an hour the first night and then do like the remainder on the second night let the first night run from beginning to end. If you collect two and a half hours on the first night, that pretty much means the second night you're, you're a shoe in to finish it. You don't want to be in a situation where literally like the second night you're, you're running short, like you only did half an hour, an hour the first day. And pretty much what the problem could be there is, is that on the second night, you need a, you need two hours and five minutes exactly to finish it. And the stream's only going to go like two hours and 15. So let's say you leave it while you go get Chick-fil-A, you go get some food, right? And you leave the stream running and your computer connection drops, your power goes out someone touches it it goes to sleep and it doesn't count for whatever reason you needed every last minute and by the time you fix it you may have already missed that last minute you needed so that's why i recommend the first night make sure you get the maximum time like if you can get two and a half hours or two hours or one hour and 45 get as much as you can so that the second night's like literally if you only watch half the stream you're good to go you don't want to be scrambling because that happened to me the first night the stream was like cutting out in the beginning so i left it on to go and the stream like disconnected like two or three times on like issues and by the time i caught it when i was done eating and stuff i already had missed like an hour which meant the second that i had to get like an exact two hour or whatever to go ahead and actually get it so just make sure you don't make that mistake but yeah make sure you guys follow that advice i mean it's to the best of your ability but that's better for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy and enter some lineups using my code down below you will get up to a free 100 on your first deposit so check that out my code and link will be down below in the description if you need coins you know where to go down below in the description as well Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.